Today we present the iTendo 2 pad from Chunk. The iTendo 2 is the first tool holder we integrated a sensor to see chattering close to the part. For a very easy process optimization, we connected the iTendo 2 to a tablet. You will get to know the components, the first steps to connect the iTendo 2 and details about the tablet app. After this demonstration, you can imagine how you can use the iTendo 2 tool holder. Okay, let's do an unboxing and look what's inside new iTendo 2 case. So, we have here the new iTender 2 tool holder. We have the tablet and the app. This is a black and white cable for loading the iTender 2. This black cable is for loading the tablet. And this is an international adapter. Okay, let's have a closer look to the iTender. We have here the sensor. We have interface HSK63. This is the interface we start. All the other ones will follow. The tool order is fine balanced. We have exactly the same contour as the Tender P. We can give him a uh, speed up to 30,000 RPMs and we can use him for internal and external cooling. Now I will show you how you can connect the iTendo 2 to your tablet. At first you have to start the iTendo app on your tablet. Here you can see our list with all iTendos in your range. You have on your tool holder the serial number of the iTendo. This number corresponds with the number on the app list. By clicking on this number, the iTendo connects with the app. When I shake now the tool holder to generate oscillations, you can see these oscillations directly on your app. Now that we have connected the iTendo and checked the data transfer, I will explain you the features in the app. At the top of the app, you can see a bar with different options. The first button is to disconnect and connect your iTendo. Then you can see the current battery level of your iTendo and the strength of your connection. You can add a project and a process in this drop-down menu. And you can also see information about the app and change the language. On the left side of the app, you can see a bar with the different areas of the app. At the moment, we are on the live display, which is used for the current data display and to process recording. Here I can start the manual recording and the automatic recording. I started now the automatic recording and shake my tool holder again. If the value now exceeded the start threshold, a recording of the process take place. This form the databases for the other areas in the app. On the left bar, we can go now to the next area of the app. That's the trend display. Here a bar chart is displayed in the central graph and each bar represents the average value of the oscillations from our automatic recording. In the third area of the app, the recordings, you can view and compare individual progressions of recordings over time and the data can be exported as CSV file.
This area is used to analyze the recorded data in detail. The last thing I will explain to you is the alarm display. Here you can see a list when in a recorded process a predefined limit was exceeded and so possibly an unwanted event occurred, a alarm viewed here. Michelle and Erich, thanks for your introduction to the iTendo 2 pad. iTendo 2 pad is a package for process visualization and process optimization without machine integration. In the middle of 2022, the next package, iTendo 2 Easy Connect, will follow with a simple monitoring and the possibility to forward the iTendo signal to other systems. The so early 2023, we plan the third package with full machine integration and process monitoring as well as cloud connectivity. Today we learned how iTendo 2 pad works. In further films, we will show you applications and process optimizations in our machine uh, with iTendo 2 pad. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>